Chrome OS 91 is out and available for a majority of users out there. And though this update didn't come with a bunch of flashy new features, there are some cool things here and mainly nearby sharing is now working. So we wanna take a look at these features and specifically show you how nearby sharing works and how well it works now. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. They're the VPN of choice for millions of consumers because they're awesome at what they do and that's keeping your browsing safe and secure whether you're at home or out and about. If you'd like to learn more about them and their services, head over to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN and there you can learn more and get started. All right, so let's talk through a couple of these features that are kind of rehashed features that we've seen already and maybe Google is finally just rolling them out to everybody. I'm not really sure, but these have been around for a little bit. And the first one is in your files app. So if you go to drive and you click on any item, you can make things available offline. You just click it. You get a nice little check mark next to that. And those files now are available offline for you to use, edit, save, all that kind of stuff if you choose. The other one is these new wallpapers. So I'm just gonna minimize this. And you can see one of these and uh, they're called Imagination. They're uh, by an artist and they're computer rendered, obviously. They kind of look like, like claymation or something like that. And again, we've seen these before, but Google chose to point these out uh, in the post about this update particularly. There's 12 of them, uh, and they're in your wallpapers under imaginary, but uh, they, they wanted to highlight that. Again, I think these have been around for a little bit, but they're there if you want another set of uh, interesting and very different wallpapers. Now, on to the things that are actually new in Chrome OS 91. First up, if you look really closely down here, you'll see on this Twitter icon, this is the Twitter PWA, you'll see a little badge there. And when I open it up, you're gonna see there's some notifications that need to be acted upon here. And that's new in Chrome OS 91, is that you have uh, apps eventually if I had some apps, a lot of stuff isn't signed in on this one particularly, but like Gmail, if I had some notifications, you'll see a badge there. And maybe if there's an action taking Google Drive or something like that, any app that has a notification will get a nice little notification badge up there at the top. Uh, it's a nice addition. Again, it's nice to know right here, if I'm looking at Twitter, just glancing down, I know there's something probably that needs my attention. And I like notification badges for that particular reason. All right, so the final thing that's new, and this is the big one, and it's not something that we didn't know was coming or that we're unaware of, but nearby share or nearby sharing finally works. And it doesn't just work or just barely function. This is a thing I'm gonna start using all the time because we've tested it on different versions of Chrome OS and all that kind of stuff. And at best, it's been hit or miss. But now that 91 is rolled out in stable with nearby share, once you turn this on, it works exactly like you would expect it to. So I'm gonna walk through real quick how you go about doing that. If you go in your settings and under your connected devices, you have a new se section here called nearby share. You're gonna click that on. And when you do so, you'll get into this menu where you can change the device's name. You can change what visibility you have. So some contacts, all contacts, and all your contacts are being managed from contacts.google.com. So if you click on that, you'll get your contacts.google.com show up. You can add whoever you need in there. But there's also the ability to make yourself visible to everyone, literally anyone around you that has Bluetooth and nearby share on will see you and be able to share to you for five minutes. If you flip the switch, it'll tell you, you got five minutes. It'll count down and turn that off whenever that time elapses. I would recommend only doing this when you absolutely need to. Generally, you're gonna be sharing with your devices probably, or you'll be sharing with someone you know. You probably have them in your contacts list. It'll work just fine with that. So let's see this in action real quick. And for the first one, I'm gonna bring in my phone. And I have a photo here, and I'm gonna click share. I'm gonna click nearby share. And boom, Dell Latitude shows up immediately. And fun fact, these are actually on different Wi-Fi networks and it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go down here. You saw the notification pop up. I'm gonna receive that. Boom, it's there. It's already in my tote. And I get the notification on the phone that it's done. And I actually moved some movies today that were three and 400 megs. Worked just fine, no issues whatsoever. But that's good on you know phone to Chromebook. Well, what about Chromebook to Chromebook? Well, that works too. So if you wanna initiate the share from your Chromebook, Go to your files, for instance, and I'll go to something I got local here so you know I'm not trying to pull anything. I'm gonna click this share button. I'm gonna click nearby share. Well, I've got a pixel slate right back here that actually has uh, nearby share. It's on Chrome 91 as well. It sees it immediately. I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna hit next. And down here, you'll see a notification pop up that, hey, someone's trying to share with you. Yes, I'd like to receive that. 
You see it? Boom, it's there. It's in the tote, ready to go, ready to be used. And I cannot express how much better this experience is with Nearby Share on Chrome OS and Android right now versus what it has been as we have been testing it. So overall, Chrome OS 91 doesn't come with a ton of bells and whistles, but it comes with one really awesome new feature. I mean, two, uh, the badge uh, notifications are cool, but one really awesome new feature that just flat out works. And it works so much better than it has over the course of these uh, older updates where we were kind of testing it and using flags and all that kind of stuff. This thing just works and it's gonna be something I think it's gonna help uh, people be more creative. It's gonna help people be more productive. It's just gonna help people use their Chromebooks and their Android phones in ways that maybe they weren't before, or ways that were just cumbersome prior. Now you just click a button and boom, that file is there. And I'm glad to see it. I'm glad to see when new features come out that they just work on Chromebooks. And this uh, new nearby sharing is one of those features. But guys, that's it for this one. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Head down there, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to ring the notification bell as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.